say hello everybody and good morning good morning good morning so something that I want to share with you guys Oops, sorry if you just saw my finger in that one of my New Year's resolutions is to be a little bit more organized now to some that means like having a clutter-free home, which yes, that would be great, wouldn't it? It would be great. Um, but that's not necessarily my goal for the year. My goal is to meal plan better, um, keep up on the laundry better, even keep up on the cat litter a little, little bit better. Um, sometimes that I, I fall behind on that and it's not pretty. But um, that is one of my goals. So part of like meal planning is also meal prepping, which I'm not good at. So today I got some bananas and we're, you know, it's snack time over here. Harrison's been working on um, feeding himself. So while he's eating bananas, I actually cut up some vegetables for tonight's dinner. Um, tonight I am going to try making a one pot, it's an instant pot, one pot chicken teriyaki and rice. So. you throw it all in there cook it and it comes out into one delicious meal so super easy setup super easy cleanup hopefully hopefully we like it but you know a little bit of that time includes cutting up all the vegetables and I don't really have time for that and I don't really like to find time for that um, but I also don't want to pay the extra to buy the pre-cut veggies. So while he was snacking today, I cut up the carrots and the peppers and then some broccoli. I cut up the small broccoli for the teriyaki and I also cut up some big broccoli um, for Harrison for when he gets to eat broccoli again. I just steam it and these long handles he holds them and in the past he's been just smashing it against his tray but hopefully he uses the handle and br brings the food to his mouth. So it's a little bit easier to grab, grab, grasp. <coughs> yes, isn't that exciting bud? So I have pretty much everything cut up for dinner tonight already and the only thing I have to do now is cut up the chicken, which I'll probably just wait till I have to throw that into the pot. But uh, yeah, that's, I'm really excited. Yesterday we had uh, ribs in the instant pot. Tonight we're trying chicken teriyaki. Another recipe that I wanna try is spaghetti in the instant pot. So I'm trying to think ahead, trying to think of what kind of meals would be easy to make but also easy to have as leftovers for Tiffany to take to school and warm up or to work and warm up. So if you have any ideas for Instant Pot recipes, share them with me. I know that I asked for this before, but now that I'm actually prepared for it, share them again because I'd really like to try some. I'd really like to see what 
will work for our family and what won't. And I can prep some of it while we have snack time. Huh, bud? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Harrison? Harrison? What are you doing? So mommy is on her way home. Uh, so I put Harrison in his little activity center inflatable tube here in the kitchen so he can just throw toys out of it and also so I can keep an eye on him while I throw everything into the instant pot. Um, all I have to do is, oops, all I have to do is cut up the chicken and um, also some zucchini and summer squash that I, that I forgot I had. So I have to cut that up too. But <clears throat> then I can just throw everything into the pot and turn it on and walk away for a few minutes until it's ready. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. And I'll film it so you can see how easy it is. Instant Pot is on. Harrison is being behaved. So I'm gonna try and wash a few dishes while that's cooking. The Instant Pot has cooked the food. I just did a quick release on it, which means moving this from sealed to venting. Right here, that's from sealed to venting. So all the steam releases, so all the pressure gets let out. Um, the only thing that is left to do is I have to take the lid off dump the rest of my vegetables in. Um, so I didn't put them in earlier because I didn't want them to get mushy, okay, according to the recipe. So I'll take the lid off, put these vegetables in, stir it up, put the lid back on for another five minutes, and then it's supposed to be done. So we'll see, five more minutes, and we'll see how it turns out. So I totally forgot to show you what it looked like in the Instant Pot, but here are the leftovers plenty of leftovers for Tiffany and I to have for lunch or dinner tomorrow, whatever we decide to do. But yeah, that's what it looks like. <clears throat> and you can adjust vegetables however you like, whatever you prefer. We've got baby corn in there, peppers, zucchini, summer squash, broccoli, and carrots. <laughs> so what did you think of dinner today? It was really good. Yeah? Yeah, I was confused by the way that you told me you cooked it, though. Okay. So, like you said, you cooked, like, the chicken and some certain vegetable first. Mm -hmm. So do you actually stop the process, or do you only cook it for a certain amount of time and then cook it again? <clears throat> no, you don't cook it again. Okay. So what you do is I was supposed to put the chicken, the teriyaki sauce, some water, the carrots mm -hmm. and the rice in the pot, cook it, and then once the once it depressurized, put the other vegetables in, oh. mix it around, put the lid back on for five minutes so that, because it's still really hot mm -hmm. and it's still steaming, 
that steam on the inside would cook the other vegetables. So when it de <clears throat> pressurizes, Pressure. yeah, no, when it so okay, okay. So my second thing is, where did you get the idea for carrots? That it they were good in there, but it's it was so weird. the recipe that I found called for it. <laughs> Okay, so I, I got the rice and I told Carrie, I'm like, man, that rice is so expensive. You know, because I don't know what jasmine rice is. Like, what is, what's jasmine rice? Like, it looked That's like white rice to me. Rice. Harrison, what's jasmine rice? I don't know why I'm asking. I got a Google machine right here. Mm -hmm. So I should probably just look that up. But anyway, I told Carrie, I'm like, that bag was expensive. It was like eight bucks. I thought rice is normally like two bucks, two fifty, something like that. And then she says, that was a five pound bag of rice. And I said, oh my God, is it huge? She said it could feed both tribes on Survivor up until the merge. It could. That's so much rice. We're never ever gonna go through that that fast. Well, I didn't. I didn't know it was uh, that much. Like I, I had no idea. Oh, I was just gonna talk into it. I didn't care. Sorry. You're so nice. She flipped up the camera, the mirror part. Um. In other news, I just want to share a completely embarrassing story with you guys today. Um, we needed a new piece for our hot water heater, which it happens. It happens in homes. Yeah. You need a new piece for your hot water heater. So last night, Carrie takes a shower, um, with Harrison. She prefers to take them at night. Uh, she actually prefers to take them whenever. Whenever I can. Yeah, really. which makes me sound bad, but I'm not here all the time, so please don't read into that. So Carrie takes a shower last night and gets out and says, um, and I know that um noise. Like, I knew it. Like, I, I just knew it. She said, I think the pilot light's out again. Because we kind of had an idea that something was going on because the pilot light was going out. So I'm like, oh man. Automatically I think of this old mo like series that was on Netflix called Revolution where they turned the power off. Uh -huh. So there was like literally no more power for years these people lived like this. Uh -huh. Like 20 years, I don't even know. Too bad it only lasted two seasons. Great concept. So anyway, I'm like, okay. Don't use any water. That way in the morning, it'll still be a little bit warm. Completely not even thinking, okay, this water heater's in the basement. Um, it's going to get cold. No, I didn't even think about it. So I get up I in did, the... but I didn't say anything. So I get up in the morning, uh, use the bathroom real quick, turn on the shower, and I'm like all ready. I am like ready to get in that shower. I had shampoo in my hand. I was ready because I knew I had a small amount of time, <laughs> short amount of time. I turn on the water and it literally felt like ice shards coming at me. Ice shards, Carrie. <laughs> I know. I managed to get it on my knee and my knee got used to it, but I realized it was about five minutes in. I didn't have that much time. I was five minutes and I was only up past my shin starting at my foot. So then I just hurried up and squirted my belly a little bit and I went, oh! <laughs> I don't want to scare you with that loud noise. I was so worried that I was going to like wake Harrison up or scare him. So I was like, I can't do this. So I had to take what we in the biz call a, I cannot say it out loud, but rhymes with. Can you say it the way that we've said it before? Hoor. Yeah. Hoor bath. bath. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it was gross. So I wasn't a fan of this morning yeah and it's always been a thing for me like i don't know i know that we got some viewers out there who sympathize with me and my weight issue i got some weight i got some extra folds you know i need to clean them it's it's me i'm a pretty clean person i don't think i stink i could probably go a couple days without showering i'd be fine but my hair my hair would not be fine i had to use dry shampoo today did you i had to can't even tell because I came home and showered. I couldn't tell earlier. Either. You couldn't tell earlier? No. If you had looked over here, uh -huh. it was starting to stick to the side of my head. But yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, it's a little embarrassing. So now I gotta know if anybody wants to disclose. Have you ever had to take one of those baths on a really important day? I think we've talked about this before because this has been like an ongoing issue with the pilot light. Yeah. And, um... Oh, Candace. I, yeah, I think we talked about it before. Uh, but now, 
it wasn't just the pilot light was just going randomly. There was a whole piece that was out. So right, a new piece. Hopefully, everything will be okay. Yeah, and I mean, like I said, there are worse things to like worry about. I got up and I handled it. Hi, baby Rue. Um, you need to flip that camera back around on you for a minute. Why? I have a story to tell you. Okay. Like, is it a good story or a bad story? Oh, I've gained a cat. You have. Okay, what's the story? So. What's the story, uh, Morning Glory? <clears throat> we ordered from ship today. Yep. Right. Um, something we don't like to do and something that I, it's a goal of mine to not have to rely on shipped very often mm -hmm. in this new year with my new, like, organizational goals and whatnot. I, I do want to let you know that I got some feedback on adding, um, Don's though. Oh, good. It's in, an, in the next stage. Is it? So apparently enough people have asked about recommending it. Okay. So I don't know what that means, but as far as the internet's concerned, they might come out to do a visit. Oh. So that would be really cool because okay. then pff, I'd order from ship all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, so uh, the lady got here. She was super nice. Yeah, her name brought, was Peggy. Peggy, yes. Yep, she was um, really nice. She brought Peggy all Hill. the groceries up to the door. She was bringing up the last cat litter. Uh -huh. And so I had the door open to get the cat litter. And Rue Bear snuck out. Rue got outside yes. and went on the porch. She did. Carrie. I picked her, I scooped her right up. I mean, she's she clearly did. right here, so she, she didn't go anywhere. Go oh. Rue, why are you going outside? I think she smells all the stray cats out there. Yeah, um, stray cats out there. we have about four stray cats. They keep making all of our I think we have more than four. camera systems and any kind of motion detectors we have now go nuts and we look and we're like it's a cat like we can literally like we could i like to watch them i do i watch them too it shows us activity there was one night it was really fun watching them because they ran all the way up um a set of stairs mm -hmm. that you could see out back uh -huh. and then they ran down the stairs and then they ran through the um the beams on the side of the porch into our herb garden and then back I feel so bad though. I know that our neighbors are feeding them and that's awesome, you know, but it's so cold in the winter time. I feel like we should make some of those totes. Yeah, maybe. You know, I mean, what else are we gonna do? Like, I don't wanna take them to the shelter. I mean, uh, well, are they well, all guaranteed we... to like, keep them alive, like the pet angel? I don't know. We should, like, capture and neuter and then release them back so that they don't you know keep procreating reproduce. kitties but yeah yeah anyways it's fun to watch the cats i'm telling you i don't know if we've shared this with you guys but carrie and i kind of have this dream of having like a pet rescue when they're a lot of work though they are a lot of work but we have this dream of having a pet rescue i know we've talked about it quite a bit in past vlogs so um, I, we know it's going to take a lot of, you know, work and time, but I think it would be really cool to be able to do something like that and like save animals. We're both such bleeding hearts when it comes to that. Those kitties out there, like right now, they just, I, I still can't go to Wendy's because of that stray cat eating the nuggets. Oh, excuse me. Oh, bless you. Thank you. The outfits that he has, I love them. Oh. Oh, whoa. whoa. You okay? Oh. Get it all out? Aw. Oh, you're tired. I, th I think he doesn't like the big light being on. Sleepy bear. Oh, sleepy, sleepy boy. boy. Oh. He's going to be so mad because he wants to play with that microphone. So when he gets older, like next year, mm -hmm. will we, like he'll get to still wear these like cute little onesies, right? Yeah, he should be able to still fit into pajamas like this. They make them in bigger sizes. Thankfully. Yeah. Because they're so cute. Look at him. It's not even Christmas anymore, and I just want it to be Christmas. I know. We have to take all these decorations down. Oh, I know. Our tree is still up, you guys. It's like January 4th right now. Well, it's a good thing that it's a fake tree, because if it was a real tree, 
We'd be vacuuming it up right now. I don't know that we'd ever be able to have a real tree with Primmy. I think that she would make herself sick with her anxiety as it is, like trying to eat everything. You know, like I feel like she would eat a lot of those yeah, needles. Some sort of medication. Her anxiety is through the roof. I do. I feel bad for her. I'm sorry, but you can't have a tag. I think she's doing really well, though. She's getting a lot better. You think so? Yeah. She's not as scared of people anymore, but I think she's just, her anxiety is coming out in other ways now. Like, I think she grooms, her, like, over-grooms herself. Yeah. I'm surprised she doesn't have bald spots. She definitely overgrooms her tail. I did check her tail last night. Did yeah? Yeah, after you said she had a few accidents. Yes, she did. A few hairballs. <laughs> Hairball. Yeah. Look at this one. She doesn't come out here very often. No, she doesn't. She's a sweepy widow Katniss. Did you hear what Rachel and I were singing the other day? Mm -mm. The way that Katniss was laying, her like body was like taking up so much room uh -huh. and Rachel was like man she gets kind of wide yeah and I don't know why but we were both like you're a wide one Miss Katniss <laughs> Aww, we poor hey you know I love her she's the firstborn she is and she gets her. her cuddles with you at night yes Harrison Harrison Woo. so I think we should call it a night Thank I'd like you. to check out my oculus again uh, yes. Have some fun with that. But okay. I want to say thank you guys. There's haunted houses on that. There are. But I can't figure out how to navigate through them though. I keep walking into a wall. Oh really? Yeah. There's one that's called like scare me or something mm -hmm. like that. It's dark. It's ominous. And then I just walk straight into a wall. Hmm. Like I wonder if I actually have to stand up and move my body like I was with the zombie game. Maybe. And I'll have to check it out. But at least turn your body. Something. Like, I, I think I need to do that. You're, yeah, I think I do. Oh, man. That'll All be right. fun. We gotta get some food in ya. Okay. You're hungry. You're hungry. All right, Harrison, say bye bye. Say thanks for hanging out with us today. Thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Aww. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 Oh.